There he goes. Welcome back everybody. Silas here today. I've got a lot of stuff going on today, tomorrow, and the next day. Bunches of crazy stuff. If you watched my previous video, the Crusher is gone. I will have more details about that probably in the next video I'm thinking, but at some point in the near future. But right now I have to get all this stuff done. I did promise you guys that I was gonna show you these cars right here. These came in during the last video, but I didn't have a whole lot of time to show them to you. Really rough cars, drug out of a tree row. Doors don't even open on them. This is just an old four door here. Rear ends are gone out of both of these. I think they're uh, 59s, I think. I'm not an expert on these Fords, but I'm pretty sure these are 59s, 58 or nine. This one's got a really good looking nose on it though. That'll be good for a wall hanger. And then it's got a really good trunk on it. That would work for a wall hanger or it can make a good couch or whatever somebody wants to do with it. It's all there. It's got some odds and ends chrome on it, but a lot of it's pretty dented up and it's all just four door chrome anyway. Oh, it does have these little things back here. Yeah, if somebody makes a wall hanger out of this, I probably won't need those so I can sell those separate. Those always sell good. If somebody wants the whole thing for a couch, I'll probably have to leave those on there. It's got a few other odds and end parts on it as well that I will save. And then this one here is a two-door hardtop. This is a 500, I believe. Yeah, this is a 500. This in here has been caught on fire. I'm guessing probably when they pulled the rear end out of it, they burned up the back half of it, which is unfortunate because now that won't work for a couch. But it does still have the chrome around the rear wheels, all the side chrome. This piece is kind of crunchy, but you know, it's a two-door piece, kind of hard to find. It's got a good looking nose on it that I can cut off. And then all the chrome on this side is good, except for it's missing the piece that went here. I think that piece was on it, but when they drug it out of the trees, I think they ripped it off, which is unfortunate. That's a fairly high dollar piece, but life goes on. Beggars can't be choosers. Also, one thing that's really cool about this car is that it's got bucket seats in it. I'm sure it's just the frames. There's, they're pretty rough and rusty, but I mean, just to have core is something to build. I'm sure those will sell pretty good. I didn't realize they put bucket seats in these cars, so I don't know if those are original or if somebody's put those in there, but they look period correct, so I don't know. It's got a few other odds and end parts on it. The glass has been broken out for years, so it's kind of kind of iffy on that. But uh, this door here isn't too bad. A little bit of bubble rust at the bottom, but the door's probably savable. It's got lots of good trim on the inside, on the door panels for the two doors. So lots and lots of good parts on this car here, plus a good looking nose. I didn't give a whole lot for these cars. I think I paid, uh, I wanna say 1200 for the pair, something like that, and that was delivered. So I don't have a whole lot in them, which is good because there's not a whole lot here. I'll, I'll make money on them. It's gonna take a lot of work. I think, yeah, the motor and transmissions are gone out of them too. There were a couple Mercury's, 58 Mercury's on Marketplace the other day for 700 for the pair. And I told the guy I'd give him 1200 for the pair of those delivered as well. And he was gonna bring them, but then somebody else showed up and gave him like 800 for him and picked him up on location. I didn't have time to go get him, so didn't get those. Anyway, on today's agenda or the next few days, I have all this stuff right here. I need to get moved. There's not a whole lot here. It's just a matter of organizing. I don't want to just throw it everywhere. I've got these Thunderbird noses here. If anybody's interested, they are for sale and I can ship stuff on a pallet. I've got this one here is pretty well complete other than the hood ornament. This one here has the hood ornament, but it's missing a couple of the headlight bezels. And then that one there is uh, missing the hood ornament and a couple headlights, but the bezels are there. I would sell these individually or all together. These were all on cars that were about to get crushed. I didn't want to see them get crushed, so I went ahead and bought them. I'll stash those off to the side somewhere. I've got these Hummer axles here. I've got those listed for sale. Those hopefully will sell fairly soon. Got a pile of scrap down there. I've got this cutoff piece here. I need to get that listed for sale. This motor is just scrap. Those converters there are empty. I've got this jet ski. I haven't figured out what I'm gonna do with that yet. I keep thinking I'll find some use for it for content. And then back here, I've just got some junk aluminum wheels, an old tailgate. And then of course, I've got my old crusher. I do plan on this spring getting this going and using this and making some content. I'm gonna to have to replace a lot of stuff on it, get some work done to it, but I think that'll be a lot of fun. I've got this old Ford nose down here I gotta move, all these wheels, this hood. Uh, this car here will probably be fine right where it's at. I don't think I'm gonna to have to move it. It's just everything up to this car, basically from here this way.
what I'm doing right now is back in this corner, there was a whole bunch of uh, quart cans and one gallon cans of paint and roofing tar and stuff like that. And it's all solid in the cans. And so I can throw it in the trash can. I know there's a lot of metal I'm throwing in this dumpster, but if I throw these things that are half full of paint or half full of tar in a car, even though they're hard and they won't make a mess, it's still, that's gonna get me in trouble. So it's not worth the risk. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it all in here. And there we go, got this area all cleaned out. It hasn't looked this good in this area for quite a while. This truck here, we're gonna be pulling the cab and the motor off of it tomorrow. I have the motor sold already and uh, I've advertised this truck. I've sold it once to a guy and he was supposed to come get it, oh, three months ago, four months ago, I don't know what it was. And he kept making excuses why he couldn't get here. So it's no longer his. So I advertised it once again and a guy bought the motor out of it, but it's easier just to pull the cab. So we're gonna knock the cab off of it and then I'll advertise just the cab by itself pull the motor out, pull the uh, emblems off the fenders, a few other little parts, go ahead and scrap the rest of it. That car there, I didn't want to bury it out back because I want to clean the trunk out, but I didn't know where else to put it. And I got to thinking, you know, back there will be out of the way. I just mainly needed this area right here, kind of where the loader and that truck and that wagon are sitting. The wagon is leaving tomorrow. Also leaving tomorrow are the two Chevys. I set those out over there. I got those quite a while ago at a farm cleanup. They're both two-door sedans. The uh, one has those real cool wraps on it. I guess I'll show them to you real quick. 
these are headed to dnh classics down in oklahoma so if there's anything on here you want to buy you can contact them and they can sell the parts to you it's got a lot of good parts on here lots of good chrome it's got lots of good wraps on the corners it's got a good set of two-door seats in it or cores at least buildable cores so lots of good stuff here for them but my last objective for today is I've got to run and exchange all these for full ones. All of my bottles are empty. This isn't all my bottles. This is about half of them. But uh, I don't have the other ones here. They're all at the other yard and I don't want to go dig them out. So I'm just going to go get these filled and I will see you guys out here first thing in the morning. Sean was not able to bring his trailer today, so I want to wheel it out front. He's going to come get that over the weekend. But we got the cab off the 66. Some of you may remember the 66. I made a reel about this thing that went pretty, pretty popular. It's gotten millions of views throughout all my different accounts. But this is that 66 with that 327 that ran and drove absolutely perfect. It was a shame to cut it up, but you know, he paid my asking price for it. And he said, cut it up after he paid for it. You know the saying, customer's always right. So I said, okay. Uh, we took the 327 out just now. He took that with him. He put it in the back of his truck. He comes back on the next load. He's gonna take this cab and he wants me to get another one of these. I think it's a 65 that I have out back. He wants me to get the cab off of it. And then I've got a 54 short bed, a step side Chevy over yonder. He's gonna take those three because that truck that he has on his trailer now, he needs a bunch of parts off of that other 54 for it. So that'll work out good for him. One cool thing about this 66 that we're cutting up right now is that it's got four brand new tires on the back of it and two pretty good tires on the front. So now I can sell those for more money and then it has a good transmission. It's got a good two speed rear end and I know they're good and they're fresh. It's not like they've been sitting out in the field for 30 years or anything like that. And they were driving this truck all the time up until about two years ago. So I can sell those and it's got a real nice all steel bed on it that I can use for who knows what, all sorts of stuff. So pretty good value out of this truck definitely made way more money cutting it up than what I wanted for it pull so life goes on
on. Get the camera. I don't got very much room. Okay, we got Man, the camera. This thing will I, run. I heard it move. Let's see if it turns. It turned a year ago. Oh yeah, it's turning. Oh yeah. If it turns that much, it'll turn all the way. You got it on video? Oh yeah. Good. Oh, oh. yeah. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Close her up. Old 206.8 liter. Check out the wings. All the sheet metal on this one's actually already sold, so we gotta pull it apart anyway. But now I have somebody else want the motor out of it. Load number two for the day, ready to head out. These wraps are pretty cool in here. I like those things. Kind of messed up here. Somebody's smacked them at some point, but that could be straightened back out. They're a hard piece of fine and they're, they're pretty high dollar. I've actually had two sets of these. The other set I had was all rotted out. These at least, they're not rotted out. They're just kind of dented up. So <laughs> pick your poison. Cool old cars. Like I mentioned before, if you need any parts off of these, you can get a hold of DNH Classics in Oklahoma. You can look them up, they're on Facebook, and get their phone number on there, I don't have it handy. They have lots of other cars that you can, uh, you can get parts off of as well. Got him loaded up, he's headed out. They're working on this now, getting it cleaned up, making it look more presentable. Go ahead and lift this cab off of here. I would think somebody would wanna buy this cab, being a big window cab, but if not, Later on, we'll slice the back of it off, make a headboard out of it. Get a whack. Take it. Really? The back one. Got some really good oil in it. It's trying. There it goes. Okay, I think most of the sludge is out. There's no way I'll ever get all the sludge out of that engine unless I had some cleaner I could run through the engine but I'm not doing all that the main thing is they want it to where if the engine rolls over it doesn't dump oil all over their trailer and shipping so I got it good enough for that so now I need to find a nice big truck tire or something not like a huge truck tire but a good sized one that way I can uh, set the motor down on that on a pallet and then I can strap it all down later I'm not gonna strap it down today don't have time for all that but I do need to at least get it set on the pallet I have some tires back here it's gonna get dark don't know if you guys can see or not turn my flashlight on all these tires were here when I bought the place I've never really done anything in this corner if I can find me a nice truck tire I think that one right there will work in addition to having to get this done they are here to pick up that Rambler station wagon uh, they're gonna put some wheels and tires to hold air on that get the hood sitting down on it properly all that good stuff I was hoping not to be out here too late today because I have to get up super early in the morning and go on a road trip and look at some really cool stuff tomorrow that video will probably come out before this video though well that was a good one i set my camera up and thought i was recording carrying this over here and setting it down and i had it set to photo mode on some somehow some way and so it took one photo 
of picking the motor up and that was it but it's on here we're going to take the uh, this little downspout tube right here take it off and go ahead and wire it up on top of the motor that way it's not in uh, the crush zone and then over here everything looks like it's right on the edge but you know, there's still a little bit of clearance so what i'll have to do now is strap it all down what i'm just going to do is go to harbor freight and get a set of cheap ratchet straps now, those aren't they're like 12 bucks for a set of four and i can go around this intake that's a good thing about these poly intakes and y block intakes is they got lots of places to hook onto so wrap it around there and ratchet it down to all four corners then after that i have to load it up in my truck and take it up to fasten all and they'll unload it and all that I'm glad I've got it set up to where I can actually ship big stuff now because I have missed out on so many opportunities to sell stuff through the years because I had no way of shipping it. But uh, we got that taken care of now. So if you see anything you need that's big, it has to go on a pallet, we can do it. Get some tires on it so it'll roll a little bit easier. Having trouble getting the rear end up high enough to get the new tires on it though. Didn't realize that the Dodge had an international rear end in it. Got a real neat cover on it so we're gonna save that see if this oil is any thinner than the engine oil <laughs> that'd be something if the engine oil was thicker than the rear end well i can't believe it's not going out one more Maybe it's empty. Yeah, she's dry. She but is dry. Can't no, complain. Can't it makes complain. it easier for us. Looks better from the backside. Yeah, you can see the Triple Diamond International. Cool stuff. And with that, Sean is headed out. I don't remember if I showed you guys that Chevy tailgate that was laying on the ground over there earlier or not. Pretty sure I did. But uh, anyway, I sold that, that's gone. Um, the guy that got the Rambler wagon bought the door off of a truck as well, so quite a bit of stuff left today, so I'm feeling pretty good, although some junk came in, but at least it was all just junk junk that I don't have to worry about saving. I was wanting to get this truck out of here, but uh, we'll worry about it another day. It's not in the way in the way, so uh, we can worry about it next week or something like that. It's, I would do it this weekend, but it's supposed to be really cold, so I'm not going to make him come get that this weekend. We forgot to send the grill that went with that one GMC cab. We'll have to get it on the next load. Got that cab set off, ready to go. Making some pretty good progress out here, that's for sure. I think I got everything lined up next week. <laughs> some big stuff's happening out here. You're gonna wanna stay tuned for the next video. It's either gonna be the next video or the video after. I don't always know what order my videos are gonna come out when I record them. One thing I've learned with the algorithm is you never want to release the same type of video back to back. You can do it, just your videos won't do as good anymore. So I try not to do that too much. Yeah, it's looking different out here. I was looking at pictures the other day of when I bought this place and <laughs> all of this was completely empty. I had just a few cars sitting right here where my junkyard cabin's at. And then there was a couple cars sitting way over yonder. This stuff was all here. These campers <laughs> were here when I got the place. But those are going to be going away soon. Lots of stuff going to be going away soon. Well, prices are up. I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, fire the excavator up, try to dig this bus out. This is nothing I want, so I'm going to drag it. I think I can get it out backwards and then uh, wheel it up front, go ahead and use the excavator and rip it apart, shove it in the box. I'd like to take trucks like this one here. There's really nothing good left on this one, so I want to cut the nose off of it. And then I think it's got a good instrument cluster in it. Yeah, it's got a really nice chrome instrument cluster in it. So I want to get that out. Maybe the temperature controls, a few other little pieces. Get it out of here. I've got about a month to get as much done as I can get done. So I don't know what all exactly we will get done, but we will do the best that we can do. I am really glad to have this truck gone though. This is where that 66 was sitting forever. And it always made me nervous carrying cars through here that I was gonna hit it or something like that. So having that gone is a big plus. I've got this area back here where I have all of Dylan's cars. I shipped out those Chevys. He saw me rearrange the stuff back here. I shipped out two cars and I put four back in. <laughs> That's the way it goes. But Holden's maybe gonna come back next week and get two more of these vehicles out of here. And then if I could talk him into coming back one more time and getting two more out of here, that would open this area up pretty good. Especially if I take out some of these dead trees like this one here. And I think that one there's dead. So if I clean these up a little bit in here, I do plan on getting rid of that trailer house this year for sure. I'll probably wait till summer though. I've got a lot going on this spring and I'm already overloaded. So probably not gonna get it 
everything done that I want to get done. But it's not going to be for lack of trying. Part of the problem is, is I could get a lot more done if I just came out here like on Fridays and Saturdays. But a lot of times on Fridays and Saturdays, like tomorrow is a Friday and the next day is Saturday, I'm going to be out filming other cool stuff. And so I can't get anything done here if I'm not, <laughs> if I'm not here. YouTube is basically like working a full-time job, only sometimes I have to travel to do stuff. So doing that to full-time job interferes with this full-time job. And then I work for my dad and we're going to do the best that we can do though. With that though, I am done for the day. I'm going to head out. I had some stuff in my truck, some parts I wanted to unload, but it's late and I have to edit a video yet tonight and a bunch of other stuff. So uh, I'm just going to go do that. I'll worry about those parts another day. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. As always, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. Remember to get out there, find yourself an adventure. We'll see you on the next one.